hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a login page in MVC without using entity framework now before enter the username and password if you use a click login see here we got the validation messages please enter your username and please enter your password let's check my table the user details now in this table for this example I'm choosing the username email which is the jack at gmail and user password is this one abcdfgh1 jack at gmail and the password is abcdefgh1 and I click login and notice here we redirect to the welcome page jack at gmail.com suppose if I enter wrong password login user login details failed in my previous video I have showed how to create the user registration before creating the login page in Visual Studio let's visit my database we'll check the table user registration details in my SQL server I'm expanding the database sample DB is my user database I'm expanding the tables also the user reg is the registration table let's open and select top thousand rows and right now in this user reg table contains seven records let's create a login page a user will log in with email ID using password I'm back to my MVC project if you miss the part one how to register the user details and save into SQL server database at the end of this video you'll get a link with the video let's create the login page go to solution explorer in the models folder I'm creating a class right click the models add class the class name I'm giving login class click add and in this class I'm adding public properties public string username get set let's copy this one paste here instead of username this one is a password after adding the properties now I'm adding the validation controls for that I'm importing the namespace using system dot component model dot data annotations required error message is equals to please enter your username display name display name is equals to which is a label enter username let's copy this one in the password field enter your password the label name is enter password data type data type dot password after adding the public properties and attributes data annotations in this class now it's time to create the controller for this login class go to solution explorer right click the controllers add controller I'm choosing MVC for controller empty click add the controller name is user login add
Now in this controller, the first thing I'm adding the the login class model namespace using the project name is MVC user registration MVC user registration dot models. Now this action result index is a get. Now I want to create the HTTP post action result of this index page. Let's copy this one up to here. Paste. Just add above HTTP post. Now in this action result index, I'm adding my class name. Login class. Else is object. Now to access my SQL Server classes, I need to import the namespaces using system.data using system.configuration and the last one is using system.data.sql client. Now come to the action result HTTP post string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name go to solution explorer come to the bottom web.config now here is my connection string default connection is my name go to controller add my connection string name dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of main con paste here string SQL query is equals to now here I am writing the select statement select the column names are go to my database the email the column name the username which I'm using paste here the password user password paste here from the table name this is a table name dbo dot user reg just copy the whole part where email is equals to at email and user password is equals to at user password now after adding the select query sql con dot i'm opening the connection sql command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is this SQL query and the second one is the connection string variable which is a SQL com its object SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes I'm adding the email at email at email here the object and the second parameter is the object value so the login class lc dot username just copy this one paste here now user password delete this username dot password SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL command dot execute reader method if SDR dot read method now in this if condition if the username and password are validate session username is equals to lc dot username dot 
to string method return redirect to action between double quotes I'm creating the welcome page welcome.cshtml else the username and password is failed I want to display the message view data between double quotes message is equals to user login details fail after that sqlcon dot I'm using close method now it's time to create the index view page for this login control highlight the index page right click add view the view name index I'm leaving as it is because my action result is the index only and the template I'm creating when I choose create it will create the controls automatically on the index page the model class our model class is a login class I'm adding that one also login class and make sure the reference script libraries is added if you uncheck the validation controls does not work click add and here we got the index.cshtml file come to the bottom and make sure this script is added and input submit button I'm changing the value to login come to bottom here I'm adding h1 tag at html dot dot view data between double quotes I'm adding this message Now we'll create the welcome action page. Let's copy this one. Come to the bottom. Let's minimize this thing. Paste here. Instead of index, I'm adding this welcome. Right click this welcome page. Add view. View name welcome and the template. I'm leaving empty as it is click add now here I'm adding if condition at if session what is the session value is it username copy this one paste here not equals to now welcome at this one session username dot to string method that's it we have done everything to create the login page now we'll open the login page in Google Chrome and here we got the output on the browser the controller name is user login and the page is the index now before enter the username and password if you use a click login see here we got the validation messages please enter your username and please enter your password let's check my table the user details now in this table for this example I'm choosing the username email which is the jack at gmail and user password is this one abcdfgh1 jack at gmail.com the password is abcdefgh1 and I click login and notice here we redirect to the welcome page jack at gmail.com suppose if I enter wrong password login 
user login details failed. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.